Hi, Julie Paquette, the state planning attorney. And if you've clicked on this video today, it's probably because you're part of a blended family. And what do I mean by blended families? I'm talking about people who are in a new family unit and have brought in children from a previous relationship. And for you, you know, these families are very common nowadays and you have some special considerations that you need to keep in mind when it comes to your planning. All right, if you have a child living with you, you're the custodial parent, or maybe your spouse is the custodial parent for their child from another relationship, that child could have a serious disruption in their life if something happened to you and you didn't have the proper planning in place. That child would now be living in a home without either parent and they would be living with this other adult who they are not legally related to. This could cause a lot of problems for your child and your new spouse too. Without proper planning, you may also inadvertently disinherit your children. You might be surprised to learn how the default rules work in Michigan for assets to transfer when there isn't any planning in place. For instance, we handled a case where a woman was receiving an asset from her mother and at the time that she received the asset, she actually had already passed away. But before she passed away, she had gotten married to another individual. They each had children from a previous relationship. So when that asset went to her estate, it actually flowed through over to her new spouse's estate. Well, oddly enough, he also had passed away already. And so that asset then went from his estate to his children and her children actually received nothing. So this asset that came from her mother flowed right through to her stepchildren with her own children receiving nothing because she didn't have any planning in place. Finally, if you are part of a blended family, you may have a little bit of homework you need to do regarding any property or assets that you brought into the new marriage. For instance, if you have accounts that you list a beneficiary on, such as a 401k, you'll want to make sure that your prior spouse is not still listed as the beneficiary. And people often just assume that when they pass away, all of their assets will go over to their spouse. But another example is if you owned a home and then later got married and the new spouse is not titled on that home, that spouse would have to go through probate in order to get that title transferred. And we know that's a real headache that you don't wanna to have to deal with. So you really need to get your planning done ahead of time. All right, give our office a call. We will set you up with your confidential consultation, walk you through all of the issues and what needs to be done and get you and your family in a more secure position than you are today.